Hey there guys, PNS92 here, and i uh, got another battle for you, so I'm going to go ahead and just jump right into it. So, I am leading with, this is pretty much a sub-stalling, uh, sub-seeding, I mean, uh, jump bluff. I'm going to go ahead and put his Alakazam to sleep, and he's going to switch while I sub up, and then I'm going to go ahead and seed this Darmanitan. And, uh, he's actually going to switch out. Uh, he could have outsped me, so he probably shouldn't have done that, but anyway... I'm going to seed the incoming Alakazam and then proceed to bounce. Um, I, I did, I'm not going to lie, I stole the set from Shofu, but uh, I saw him use it a lot better than I can. And here he makes a mistake and goes for a trick. I'm behind a sub. I don't know why he went for a trick. I am actually able to paralyze him with the bounce, though. And uh, I'm going to continue bouncing, but it's going to be the Fortress coming in. So uh, it's not really going to do me any good against Fortress. Uh, he's going to set up rocks, and I'm going to Sleep Powder again to try and put that to sleep, but he actually does me one better and brings in Breloom. <laughs> so now I have a sleeping Breloom. I'm like, yes! Uh, and he's going to sit here and try and burn some Sleep Turns, but I think he's going to end up switching out. He is um, back into Fortress. And at this point, I'm kind of hoping I can at least paralyze this thing because I can't seed it because it has Rapid Spin. So, uh, um, this is, you, you know, just continue rinse and repeat. I mean, I do finally get the pair there. And at this point, I'm pretty much just going to, uh, seed him a little bit because I was hoping he'd get some para hacks and get some rapid spin. I mean, and not be able to get off the rapid spin. So, uh, I do, but, you know, he's going to be able to eventually spin that away. And at this point, I'm pretty much just waiting for him to take out my sub. And then I'm going to switch right after that. Um, because it's always nice to try and, you know, like, uh, stall him out a little bit. But he ends up switching just as I switch into Hydreigon. So I'm going to Dark Pulse the Alakazam. I'm Scarf Hydreigon, so it's obviously going to take care of him. Um, he brings in the Darmanitan. I don't want to hit that with a Dark Pulse. And he goes with Super Power. So I'm kind of like, well, that sucks. I was hoping I'd outspeed, but I don't. I'm pretty sure he's scarfed since he stays in and continues to superpower. Not to mention that he outspeeds me here. Okay, so I know he's scarfed. He's scarfed because I'm max speed scarfed, and he outsped me. So anyway, I am able to take him out with the Draco Meteor. He was at a minus two superpower, so that didn't really do much. I'm going to switch out on the incoming Togekiss. Because, uh, you know, I'm at minus two special attack, and I really don't want to do anything with that. He actually T-waves, which I'm like, oh my gosh, are you serious? So now he's going to get the, try and do the para-flinching thing on me. And I'm going to go ahead and miss and flinch and para-hax a bunch of times here, and not be able to hit him with another Meteor Mash while he roosts up. So this kind of sucks for me, because it's like, well, what do I do now? So... Uh, I'm going to end up switching out because I know I can't do anything. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and switch into... I believe I'll go back into Hydreigon. Yep. Uh, but after Stones and Air Slash, he's going to be able to kill that off. So I'm going to bring back in Metagross since I'm Choice Banded. Um, I could have gone for the Bullet Punch, but I was kind of hoping that I would break through the Flinch or the Para here. And I actually don't that time but he misses an air slash and I'm able to get off the explosion and that's going to one hit KO um, choice banded 250 power I mean even if it doesn't get the boost that it got last gen you know it's still not a bad move so uh, he is going to send out Dragonite I'm going to bug buzz a couple times just to get some damage on this thing because I know he's uh, well at first I was just doing it to kind of fodder out but then I realize he's going to set up. I'm like, well, I'm going to let him set up a little bit since he'll obviously go for the plus six and then I'll whirlwind him out. So he gets up pretty high, whirlwind him out into Breloom, and that's great because he's mad that he doesn't get any of his boosts, and now I can hit the sleeping Breloom. So I'm actually going to be able to take this out with Beautifly. Um, and then after that, he's going to bring back in the Fortress to probably just try and kill me off. Uh... But it's going to allow me to set up a couple Quiver Dances. Oh no, he brings in the Dragonite. He brings in the Dragonite, he's going to roost off his damage, and then I'm going to Whirlwind him out. That's what it is. So in comes the Fortress. I'm going to set up a Quiver Dance here, and I think I'm going to go for one more. He sets up Sunny Day, 
because he has the Fire Blast on the Dragonite. So uh, I am going to be able to end up doing about a quarter to this guy, to that Dragonite, before he ends up killing me, which is pretty good. Um, not a bad... Oh, I do a little bit over a quarter before he kills me. He actually gets a crit on the Fire Blast, but that obviously didn't matter. Um... I'm going to go ahead and bring in uh, Jump Luff at this point. I'm going to be trying to put this thing to sleep, but uh, I think I miss like three sleep powders. Oh no, I hit that one, but he has the Lumberry. I go for it there. I actually sped this part up because the rest of this battle is pretty much a stall war. Um, I mean, I try and put this thing to sleep, and yeah, I miss two sleep powders in a row. So at this point, I'm thinking, alright, I lost the battle. There's no way. Because I only have one attacking move, which is EQ. But, I'm actually going to start setting up some curses. For whatever reason, he switched out there at the beginning, which he probably shouldn't have done. He should have hit me while I was didn't have that high of a defense. But I'm going to be able to get up to plus 6 attack and plus 6 defense. Um, now, here is the mistake I make. I know I have to burn some stuff and hope to seed stall him out. So I'm like, I'll burn synthesis. Bad idea. Why did I not burn curse? Because I was already at plus 6. So now I'm out of synthesis. And it actually comes down to the end. Where I could have been able to synthesis up. And get out of this. Um, so at this point. He knew his fire punches weren't doing that much. So he starts outraging. Because that's actually doing a little bit more than his fire punches were. And now he's confused. And he breaks through confusion twice with outrage. And I'm pretty sure I would have been able to kill his fortress. It wouldn't have been able to touch me. With that plus 6 defense. So, I would have been able to seed stall his Dragonite out. I already stalled him out of, I had PP stalled him out of Roosts. So, anyway, really good game, really close. He wins by breaking through the confusion twice, so it was really, really close. But anyway, it's a good game, Fro Boy 1534, and I'll see y'all later.